that but the topic is Lagrange's form. So we are having the problem, a uh, very important problem it is and a famous question that is x square minus yz p plus y square minus zx q equals to z square minus xy. Where the small p stand for what? Del z by del x and small q stand for what? Del z by del y. Okay, so this is the first order, first degree partial differential equation which we are solving here. And for that, we write down the equation in the standard form. In the standard form, we write down the first of all the terms of p, then the terms of q, then it is RHS part we have. Okay, after that, we write down the Lagrange's auxiliary equation to solve this Lagrange's form. So, how we write down the Lagrange's auxiliary equation? We write dx upon the coefficient of p. This is x square minus y z. Then, dy upon the coefficient of q, dz upon the coefficient of the origin uh, side, z square minus xy. So this way we write on the Lagrange's auxiliary equation. Now here, we first of all observe that whether this Lagrange's auxiliary equations can be solved by the grouping method. There are two methods we are having, one is grouping and one is multiplier method. So we try to solve it first of all by the grouping. But if you observe here, if I group the first two ratio, okay, the integration is not possible. Why? Because it is having the dx and dy term in the numerator, but z is also there in the denominator. So that's why the and which is not cancelling. So that's why the integration is not possible. And same is the is for the other ratio, second and third, uh, or maybe the first and third. So that's why this question cannot be solved by the grouping. We are moving to the word that now multiply. So multiply I am choosing here as 1 minus 1 0 and 0, 1, minus 1 as multiply. The multiplies are non-zero, means all elements should not be close to zero. So we take a non-zero multiply. Now for this multiply, I make one ratio. If I manage to so I just multiply this by the 1, minus 1 and 0. I get this denominator dx minus dy. Then I take again multiply, multiply by the 1, minus 1 and the 0 and adding. So we get this quantity, x square minus yz. Then multiply by the minus 1 is minus y square minus plus zx. Okay? So first ratio to the left hand side. Now, for the second ratio, we consider this multiply 0, 1, minus 1. So here multiply again is 0, 1, minus 1. So we get this dy minus dz. 0, 1, minus 1. We multiply here 0, 1, minus 1. We get this quantity there. Okay? Afterward, we just simplify the things. Simplify kaise karte hain dekhe? I just collect this x square minus y square. Z common so I take out the z common from here. So what is left then it is x minus y, which is left in the bracket. And afterwards again same thing we do here. y square minus z square we write as a one bracket. But minus zx plus xy minus my common it is what? x. But take x common, what is left? y minus z. Clear. After that x square minus y square we write as x plus y, x minus y. Same way y square minus z square we write as y minus z and y plus z. Now we take a common x minus y from here. So we are remaining with x plus y plus z. Okay, same case here. I take out common y minus z. What is remain? y plus z plus x. So if you see x plus y plus z is cancelled with this again x plus y plus z. And we are left with only this quantity dx minus dy upon x minus y. dy minus dz upon it is y minus z. Now we have to do the integration. And it is possible here. How? x ka derivative dx which is present here. The derivative of y is dy which is present here. So integration of this quantity is nothing but the log of denominator that is x plus y. Same case here. The derivative of y is dy. Derivative of z is dz. So therefore integration will be log of y minus z. So we do the integration. Log of x minus y. Log of y minus z. And for our convenience we take the constant of integration as log a. And after that. This is log of x minus y, we have written as it is. Use the logarithmic property. We can write this quantity as log of y minus z into a. We just extract the log. We take the exponential to both the side. So log will get cancelled. What will happen? x minus y, y minus z into a. This is shift to the denominator. This is y minus z equals to a. So this is the first solution we have obtained, which we have written as u. u equals to x minus y, y minus z equals to a. We have obtained by using these two multiply. Set of two multiplier we have used and then we have created that ratio and we got this solution. Same way we do the for the second solution. Again we consider the set of two multipliers that is x, y, z and 1, 1, 1 and using this set of multiplier we form these two ratios. That can be formed very easily. You have to just multiply the x, y, z in the numerator and the denominator. You get this ratio and 
and one 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 like the same thing. Multiply dx dy dz by the this is one one one. Multiply the denominator as well as you will get this ratio then. Now further, we just do the simplification. We write this as x cube, y cube, and z cube. Minus x y z minus x y z minus x y z is minus three x y z. Okay. Again here, x square, y square, z square, minus y z minus z x minus x y z is written here. Now afterwards, I break this quantity into the two parts. Two parts. We can calculate this from x plus y plus z into x square plus y square plus z square minus x square minus y z minus z x, which is the same as this one. So that this will get cancelled. If I multiply this to bracket, definitely I will get this one. Okay? ये दोनों तो हमने आपने कैंसल हो गई. So now we are left with what? x d x plus y d y plus z d z upon x plus y plus z, and this is d x plus d y plus d z upon this one only. So which is not the answer here. Now, derivative of this quantity is d x plus d y plus d z, which is not present in the numerator. So I take this to the here, right hand side. So I have to move here, and now after what I do here, I multiply the whole equation by the two. Why I multiply by the two? Because this quantity will become then the differential of x plus y plus z whole square. If I take a derivative, I'll get this quantity. Can I say take a derivative two times x plus y plus z? Then the derivative of dx dy dz is here written. So this is the differential of x plus y plus z whole square. Similarly, now this is integrable form. In the integrable form, integration of x is x square by two, y is y square by two, z is z square by two, which is written here. And then later on, we have simplified the quantity. And now, after doing the integration, we have got this to the left or right. Me differential will remain. X plus y plus z square is remain. Plus the integrating constant will take us b here. Now do the expansion of this x plus y plus z square, which is very simple. X square plus y square plus z square, two times x y, two times x z, two times y z, which we have written here, plus b. And now this x square cancels with x square, y square with y square, z square with z square. What is remain? Two x y, two x z, two y z plus b. Now take this to the right hand side, left hand side. This is minus b. Two से divide कर दो. And this again simplify into the simpler form. X y plus x z plus y z equals to minus b by 2. This is the new constant minus b by 2. This one we denote by the name c. So this is c now here. Now so we have the second solution as then b equals to this quantity equals to c. So we have obtained the second solution by using the two set of multiplier x y z and one one one. Okay. So this way we got the two solution. One is u, one is v. Now we write down the complete solution at the end. That is given by pi of u v equals to zero. And now I write here the u. That we have obtained and the b as well as so this is the complete solution of given Lagrange's form. So this is the only way to solve this differential equation. Other way, the solution नहीं निकलेगा so that's why we have solved this way by collecting by selecting the two multiplier at the time. Okay, okay, thank you.